Introduction to Matter Matter Every object that has mass and occupies space is called matter. All objects are made of matter such as book, table, pen, eraser, etc. are examples of matter. Human body is also made up of matter. Matter can be seen, touched, smelt or tasted. It can be a solid like table, a liquid like milk or water or a gas like oxygen. Molecules and atoms. Matter consists of very small particles called molecules. These molecules are so small that we cannot see them with naked eyes. A molecule is the smallest particle of a substance which has all the properties of the substance. For example, a sugar molecule is the smallest particle that has all the properties of sugar. Molecules can be further broken down into smaller particles. These smaller particles lose some properties of the original substance. For example, when a sugar molecule is broken down, it loses its sweetness. These smaller particles from which the molecules are made up of are called atoms. These atoms are called the building blocks of matter. Atom consists of three particles, electrons, protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons exist at the center of atom known as nucleus and electrons revolve around the nucleus in a fixed circular path called orbits. Some substances like iron, aluminium, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen or carbon consist of only one type of atoms. The substances which have only one type of atoms are called elements. Some substances like sugar, water, carbon dioxide, etc. are made up of two or more types of elements. These substances are called compounds. Most of the common substances are compounds because almost all substances are made up of two or more types of atoms. For example, salt is made up of sodium and chlorine atoms. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. States of matter On the basis of arrangement of molecules in a substance, the matter is categorized in three states solid, liquid and gas. Solids In a solid, the molecules are very tightly packed. They attract each other with a strong intermolecular force so they cannot move freely. They have a definite shape and volume. Wood, iron, brick, etc. are solids. Solids are usually hard because their molecules are packed together tightly. Solids can be made up of many things. They can have pure elements or a variety of compounds inside. When you get more than one type of compound in a solid, it is called a mixture. Most rocks are a mixture of many different compounds. Liquids, water, milk, oil, etc. are liquids. The molecules in a liquid are also packed together, but not so closely as in solids. The intermolecular force is less in liquids compared to that in solids. So, the molecules in liquid can move freely inside a container in which liquid is filled. This is why liquids have no fixed shape even though they have a fixed volume. So, if you have half litre of milk, it will be half litre whether it is in a bottle, in a packet or in a glass. Liquids can flow easily and take the shape of the container in which it is poured. Gases Take some water in a pot and heat it. After some time, you will see the steam over the pot. Steam is a gas and it flows out of the pot. It has no fixed shape or volume. Because the molecules in gas are far away from each other, the intermolecular spacing is maximum in gas. They move freely because the intermolecular forces in gas are very less. If we release a gas in a room, for example deodorant, the molecules spread in the whole room and fill it completely. 
interconversion of states of matter a matter can change its state from one form to another solids can be converted into liquids liquids into gas and gas into solids conversion of these three states into each other is called interconversion of states of matter when a solid is heated the molecules of liquids get energy the intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules start diminishing and molecules are able to move freely and solids converts into liquid on further heating molecules become free to move throughout the space and convert into gas any changes in the state of matter of a material changes the arrangement of molecules in that material these changes are categorized into two types physical change and chemical change physical change in these interconversion of states of matter there is only change in states of matter without forming a new substance from the matter this conversion is termed as physical change it is of reversible nature it is a temporary change for example water on heating converts into steam and on cooling converts into ice if ice is heated it converts into water and steam on cooling converts into water thus we get water back in its original form chemical change any change in the matter which forms one or more new substances is termed as chemical change this change is not reversible in nature and it is permanent change for example rusting of iron in open atmosphere is a chemical change because we cannot get the same iron as before production of bakery products burning of wood etc are chemical changes solubility solubility is defined as the ability of a given substance to dissolve in some other substance to form a mixture of uniform nature the substance which gets dissolved is called solute while the substance in which solute gets dissolved is called solvent solubility of solids in water some solid substances such as salt sugar lime etc dissolve in water they are called as soluble substances while those which do not dissolve in water such as sand grate etc are called insoluble substances when we dissolve a soluble substance in water its molecules spread over the whole liquid and fill the spaces between the liquid molecules for example take some water in a glass and add a little quantity of potassium permanganate in it you get a pink colored solution potassium permanganate dissolves in water and spreads through the whole water solubility of liquids in water some liquids mix with each other you can mix water and milk easily liquids that mix with each other are known as miscible liquids those liquids which are unable to mix with each other are called immiscible liquids such as oil and water petrol kerosene etc are immiscible liquids solubility of gases into water mostly gases are soluble in water some gases like nitrogen carbon dioxide are less soluble in water as you know oxygen dissolved in water is used by plants and water animals in aerated drinks the bubbles are present because carbon dioxide is dissolved in it under pressure properties of states of matter solids solids have fixed shape and volume incompressible in nature intermolecular spacing is negligible maximum intermolecular force of attraction liquids liquids have fixed volume but shape is not fixed negligible compression intermolecular spacing is greater than in solids but less than that in gases intermolecular force of attraction is less than that in solids and more than that in gas gases gases neither have 
fixed volume nor fixed shape, highly compressible, maximum intermolecular spacing, negligible intermolecular force of attraction.